Uh, this is kind of a long convoluted story and I, I'm probably gonna have to find like some clips on YouTube to kind of make it all make sense. So this is what uh, supposedly is happening, right? So 6 9 is in a relationship with a woman. Uh, her name is Yal Yalin Lama Lamas Viral or something like that, okay? Basically, she's Annuel's baby mama, okay? 6 9 Yalin. I want, you, I want you to be able to see who the fuck we talking about. This is them right here, okay? They've been doing many videos and many songs together recently. Again, um, apparently her story is that, you know, she got pregnant for, for Annuel. They broke up and um, 6 9 comes in. 6 9 has a few with Annuel, whatever. Now, here's where shit went left because 6 9 is kind of like, he's completely in the, in the Spanish world. Me and him was supposed to do an interview, like, on some rap shit. I don't know how much committed he is to even doing rap right now. Um, clearly, you know, he pretty much explained on another interview that him dropping that song with Kodak that Kodak got paid a million dollars for, he only dropped it for a vape company. So, you know, it seems like he's going to be staying in the Spanish world, at least for the foreseeable future. By the way, this is a picture of Yailin with Anwell when they were together. Okay, so... This is Six Nine's girl now, and again, I, I'm you know I'm guessing he really likes her because you know I don't know how much of a shtick or promotional thing this could be by dating your ops baby mama, but Six Nine has spent shit ton of money on her, spent like reportedly two to three million dollars on her, buying her gifts and cars and giving her cash, and what ended up happening is this, okay. Um, Apparently, and this is a story I'm hearing from the, the, the Spanish-speaking world, she goes to the Dominican Republic to go work with some producers, okay? And when she goes to the Dominican Republic to go work with some producers, apparently 6ix9ine um, gets jealous. And allegedly 6ix9ine pulls up on the producers with a bunch of goons, beats up the producers. The producers, like, I I'm guessing they're no gangsters. They pretty much say, to, yo, like, I mean, they have the producers on camera showing their bloody face, bloody lip. And essentially, before 6 9 could leave the island, they took him into custody, okay? So, first and foremost, and I'm trying to give you all of the story. But yeah, if anybody who, yo, Kyrie, yeah, if you know anybody who speaks Spanish, please bring the ass in here. Now, this was a video of him actually, you know, they already took him into custody. I think they're, they're transferring him to a different location or something like that. And, you know, this is a huge deal. 6 9 is, is a big deal in the, the like, in Spanish countries. And you could hear the people kind of cheer. I think they're cheering because, you know, I think, you know, let's be honest, man. 6 9 running around Dominican Republic like he's Spanish Tupac, bro. Like, you don't give a fuck. You feel me? And from what I'm hearing, 6 9 got some little guala guala goons down there that he probably just paid a little bit of money to. And, and basically, <laughs> that, that's like the Espanol Treyway for him. You know what I mean? Yo, 6 9 doing his thing, man. You know what I mean? Listen, same story, just different place. You get what I mean? And by the way, you know the funny thing about this? You remember everybody be like, yo, damn. All right, since he snitched, nah, ain't, ain't no nigga would ever uh, 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 be signing up to do street shit with him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So I guess this is him right here. I think that, are they cheering like, yes, y'all got him or like free him type shit? I can't tell. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if they, it, it looked like they like him. If I'm him, fuck the United States. I ain't coming back neither. I see why this nigga be over there all the time. I see why this nigga like it. Anyway. It looked like people are lining up to get a glimpse of him. I be I 
I ain't gonna lie, it looked like they're trying to get a glimpse of him. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, I keep telling y'all, man, 6 9 is Spanish Tupac, man. Jesus. Anyway, uh, now if you're wondering uh, why was he arrested, again, I gave you the explanation. Uh, the, from the Spanish world is coming out that 6 9 was jealous that his girl was, you know, they both do music was working with some producers that apparently they had chemistry, right? Like the, she had chemistry with those producers. That's why they're working together. But for whatever reason, 6 9 was jealous of that situation. I don't know if they mouthed off to him or whatever, but he came back with a bunch of goons and beat their ass or some shit like that, right? There's a video and surveillance video that actually leaked before of uh, 6 9 actually pulling up, which is this. By the way, you know what I got to tell y'all too, man? These days, wearing a shiesty is like, it's like retarded, bro. Like, everybody thinks like a shiesty is like, now you're incognito. Like, you could tell when, like, you could tell who's under the shiesty. You know what I mean? Like, I, I could imagine K Flock thinking that, yo, I got my shiesty on, so I'm good. You know, I think it was locked up the next day. <laughs> like, you could tell this is 6 9 from a mile away. You feel me? Now, don't use this in court, okay? I'm not helping y'all niggas. I'm just saying, what the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> yo, 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 6 9 you can't do a crime rocking your merch, gang. Like, this is crazy, bro. It defeats the purpose of you wearing the shiesty when you're wearing the merch. You can't rock the merch but have the shiesty on. Like, bro, are we trying to be not seen or seen? Like, come on. Anyway, 6 9 with Goon 1 and Goon 2. The good thing I, I am going to say, by the way, this is a sad situation. And, I, and, and you know, I'm going to give some tough love to 6 9 You know, it's my man's. But I got to give him some tough love. Real talk. Enough is fucking enough. I'm going to give him some tough love today. But uh, what I was going to say, the, the good thing, if there is a good thing here, I didn't see guns. I didn't see guns. And, um, you know, in, in in a lot of these situations, like, don't be going in, in like, a, I don't know, is Dominican Republic a third world country? Don't be going to other countries thinking that because you ran Brooklyn, them, them niggas will push your shit back. Pause. You feel me? So, again, I don't know exactly what's happening here, but it looked like, at least from what I saw, I ain't seen nobody, like, brandishing a weapon, at least on this video. So, I'm hoping no weapons was involved. But still, you can't type, you can't condone this type of behavior if this is what happened. Anyway, so this is 6 9 and two dudes right here. He looked like he bought that action. He ready for something. This nigga don't look like no goon right here. It looked like they were trying to get into the place. I don't know who this guy is. This is the odd part. This guy, he tells people to pull up, right? It's like he's like he's almost a lookout. Yo, y'all niggas come through now. Then all of a sudden we see, this is odd. This is 6 9 security guard. Yeah, this ain't no real goons. Maybe this nigga's a goon right here. But this nigga was just, a, a, gotta be a lookout, and the other nigga was a 6 9 security guard. So anyway, the story goes that this is the place where the, the producers are at. So they're saying that 6 9 beat, the, beat, the, uh, beat up the nigga. And then this is them all running away. Now, it's only one time they ran away, okay? <laughs> this video is in such perfect loop, it feels like people are chasing each other. <laughs> it's the same people. Um, yeah. Now, let me see if I could... Yeah. So here is... Uh, the producers kind of showing the injury. And by the way, if, if this is why I need like some people to translate on the on the Spanish side. Here we go. Mira, 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 I know what that Diablo means, the devil. Mira, 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 
Mira, a ellos que no tienen que ver con nada, vienen un regalo de tigre, ¿verdad? Okay. There's even more videos um, that's kind of a little bit more in-depth. It shows It's a little bit more gruesome, actually, because it shows you, you'll see their injuries. The, the niggas bleeding all over the place. Let me see if I can find it. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic fight. By the way, if anybody has it from an Instagram page, I'll post it from there. But I'm trying to see if I could find the injuries of the guys a little bit more clearer. Yo, Act, doesn't doesn't Six Nine have a song with one of these niggas? You said what? Doesn't he have a song with one of these guys? Ooh, that's actually uh, uh, he has a song with a nigga named Lanier. Lin Leaner? Yeah, one of them big big dudes look like the same dude he did a video with. You think so? Yeah. He definitely looked like the same dude in the video, bro. Oh. From that Wape video, right? Wape. I'm not sure it's a big Dominican motherfucker. Yeah, Wape. Let me see. Let's see. I don't know for sure. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't this big nigga right here. You talking about? You talking about this is a big nigga? Right? Hell yeah. Him? Don't that look like dude? You're saying nah, bro. That's Bullying 47. That's somebody else. Yeah, that don't look like that nigga, bro. No. Nah, yeah, you're right. That nigga look sinister. Anyway, yo, wait, wait. Who else is in the call? Do we get somebody in here that, that speaks Spanish or no? Yeah, we got a translator. Right. Okay. Nigga, I don't know what you said, brother. <laughs> that was facts, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was me, gang. All right, anyway. Um, yo, here's the reality. By the way, I'm going to try to... If y'all if have more videos, because there's more videos of injuries and shit, just send them over to me. I'll put them on the screen. But here's the point about it, right? 6 9 is on... Federal parole. I know this. He knows this. The world knows this, but they they always say he's protected by like because he's an informant. Like he has a badge in his back pocket. Now you know. Um, I personally think he should be staying away from all of this dumb shit. I think him versus Annuel is kind of dumb. I think you know some of the you know the antics behind that is dumb. I don't think he should be you know. Running around like he's, like, no tough guy anyway. You know what I mean? Like, again, yo, you're on federal parole, my dude. I guess that's my only thing with it. Like, you're on federal parole. Like, you are a property still of the United States government, and you're going overseas. And, again, you know, one thing with 6 9 and actually just with a lot of rappers, they always jealous over their girl, bro. They always jealous over their girl. Who talking to their girl? Who, 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 who their girl talking to? Uh, who their girl working with? You know what I mean? Like, 6 9 is an obsessive... Like, 6 9 is one of them stalking niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, you know, he's like one of them Joe Button back in the early 2000s with Tahiri, hide under the bed type niggas. You feel me? Like, he one of them type niggas. So, you know, I'm hoping that he ain't do what they're accusing him of doing, but not only for his own sake, but, bro, you on federal parole, my nigga. Like, come the fuck on, bro. Come the fuck on. Somebody said that's some insecure shit. <sighs> Somebody said, nah, he's an agent, he's good. No. Yeah, that badge don't work overseas, gang. <laughs> well, well, you got to realize, so, like, when, when you're on parole, I mean, even if you do something overseas, that could affect your parole status. Right? Now, there's been this whole thing going on, like, and again, this is, like, so huge. And again, I, I really need somebody who would, be like, really be keeping up with the Spanish. Actually, let me read what, what this lady actually told me. This chick who's, she's, she's Spanish. This is what she put me on a game about. Where are we at? Okay. All right. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, she put me on game like crazy. So. ING Records official underscore. Now, Chad, I ain't gonna lie. You definitely going to jail. If niggas, niggas is showing, like, and by the way, trigger alert for this, you know, this is blood and shit, I'm sorry. But you know you're going to jail when niggas don't even wipe the blood off. 
and they on camera, full camera, you're going to jail. Like, you know you're going to jail when niggas don't even wipe their face off. He on some Jussie Smollett shit. Remember when Jussie Smollett said niggas put the noose around his neck and he walked home with it and sat for an hour, then called the cops with the noose still on his neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even wipe your face. Get the cameras, gang. Get the cameras, gang. Get the motherfucking cameras. Y'all going to see this. Listen, he's going to file a lawsuit on 6 9 Okay, damn. Yo, this nigga's lip look like a goddamn Michelin tire. Holy. Now, apparently these are the producers, okay? Um, I, I'm going to give you the explanation that I got from this really nice uh, young woman who... Um, who uh, here, here we go. Oh, here we go. So apparently, yet so apparently it was yesterday or the day before, all the airports in the Dominican Republic got an alert to not let Takashi Six Nine out the country. Okay, it came from an incident that had to do with a, a producer. I don't know which one of these guys are the producer. Judging on the injuries, he only got a fat lip. This nigga got the beats. I'm guessing this is the nigga he don't like. They're saying that his girl Yalin was gonna record with said producer, and um. He didn't like it, which, by the way, like, if, if if your girl cares about you, right, and you love her, and you really don't like a producer, and it's going to be that much of an issue that you got to show up to put hands on him, why is your girl recording with said producer? You know what I mean? Maybe it's a situation you got to talk to her about. Anyway, um, apparently they're saying that 6 9 was jealous. So I asked the person, I said, why the fuck would he be jealous? They're saying it's because it's not the first time it happens, and the producer had, um, oh, what? Had a live last night on the way to his place. Oh, they said the the, the producer got caught lacking because the producer went live on the way to like the studio, and um, he even admitted that Six Nine was calling him, telling him that he's gonna beat his ass and all type of bullshit. So apparently, the producer was went on live and was telling people that yo Six Six Nine was threatening him, and he says Six Nine got there about ten minutes after the producer, and um, that's when shit went left. Okay. So I said, and supposedly before this happened, his girlfriend was pregnant allegedly. So I'm guessing six nine's girls. Bro, I don't know. Bro. I'm gonna keep it real with you. This is how foreign and all this shit is to me. Me and six nine, like, like we 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 still talk sparingly. The last time we talked was the Steve shit. Like I I, I would talk to him about the Steve shit. Whatever he's doing in the in you know Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Mexico, and whatever he's doing in the Latin world, I don't know. He's he's a he's a I won't call him an evil genius, but he's a marketing genius. So whatever he's doing, he usually has some method to his madness. It's usually sometimes to probably either keep visibility up or you know what I mean like pick or fuck with somebody. If you ask me on the outside, but I don't want to speak too much. You know, I want to speak on his woman. I would think the initial attraction to, to Yailin was to make Annual mad. Now, clearly, he looks like he loves her now, right? Now, if uh, I don't think he's having a baby with her, but. Imagine sharing a baby mama with your eye. Wait, why don't you think he's having a baby with her? He, he... Nah. Imagine sharing a baby mama with your eye. He might have got her pregnant, but, but, but uh, nah, he ain't trying to have no baby, bro. Like. Six Nine's world, like he ain't trying to take care of kids, bro. Like, bro, Six Nine got like having kids, but he just not taking care of them. Yeah, but like, no, 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 no. Anyway, uh, okay. So the, here's some more. Uh, I guess this is you know a little more information. Okay, they said all right. So I'm asking this person, why would Six Nine be jealous of two like no disrespect to these guys, unknown producers? Um, and why would he be so threatened when, you know, he's really popular and his girl's really popular? He said, to answer that question, why he would be jealous is because Yailin is very popular in the Dominican Republic, and she used to hang with nothing but the guys, okay? And as well, she was recording a song with him, and a video had went viral about her dancing years ago with that producer, and apparently he did not like that, or 
her recording with him. And he lied to her, told her he was in Miami, but pulled up on her in DR. Now I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I know 6ix9ine. This is 6ix9ine's behavior. I remember 6ix9ine when he was with Jade, he paid for he booked them a private jet, paid for her and her whole friends to go down to some villa. Like she was mad at him. To go to some villa in, in the DR. And basically, you know, it's Instagram models. So they're like, oh, we turning up. You know what I mean? Even though, like, your man is paying for this, which you're mad at your man. Which I, 6 9 is like a weird nigga in a, in a, in a relationship-wise. You know what this nigga did? This nigga booked another private jet, showed up to the showed up to the villa, to not even, like, to surprise her, to stalk her. He booked the villa next to her. Which I'm like, yo, 6 9 bro, you too popular to be, like, Obsessed over girls, dog. You the nigga. You feel me? Anyway, so this sounds like some six nine shit. That's what I'm trying to say. Like six nine be like, yeah, I'm in, uh, uh, yeah, I'm in Miami, but then just pop up in DR. Yes, he'll do that. That's some Joe Button shit too. Uh, they said they're looking for a gang he made in DR. What the fuck? Six nine made a gang <laughs> in DR. Yeah, I don't know. again, take whatever this person say with a grain of salt, but they are tapped into the DR scene okay they said they're looking for a gang he made or i don't know if it, they meant met i don't know if the english is their first language he made in the dr called killers which is a whole bunch of idiot idiot by the way whatever gang killer gang this ain't me saying this this is somebody else writing this i ain't think y'all are idiots he said which is a bunch of idiot dominicans little dumbasses will do anything for money he he made them he made them his little gang and those are the ones that are doing all that bullshit I don't know whatever the producer didn't want the police involved and he said it on the live video but some news I get info from said that they were really going to retaliate but he couldn't say that on live but now police is on 6 ix ass Then somebody says, I'm going to keep you updated with the producer. They said, word on the street is that 6 9 offered these niggas $5,000 each for them to say that he ain't beat them up. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Chat, I don't know, dog. <laughs> Maybe he needed a re-up on another snitch case, man. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, though. 6 9 hit you and say, yo, 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 we about to beat the brakes off of these niggas. Are you going with him? Nah, he going to tell on me. Actually, I don't think he would tell in that situation. That nah, nigga's nah, definitely nah. going to tell. Nah, what, what is he going to tell? Oh, what? I think 6 9 will only tell was a serious crime. Yo, I... Get the fuck out of here. Bro, it's just an assault. Like, like my nigga, you're not going to do 20 years over, over just, like, beating up a producer. That nigga 6 9 don't even want to spend a day in jail, bro. But he's gotten locked up, like, he's gotten locked up the other day. And then now he's locked up again. Nah, them, 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 them DR, them DR, I heard the DR just a little different, you know what I'm saying? And how we know he definitely getting deported, man? They might keep him for a little bit. Well, no, well, I think that's what's gonna happen. Like they're not just gonna just say leave the country. I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna at least try to have him either they're gonna try to do some of their legal process before he gets out of that country. Yo, act that nigga about to snitch on his whole gang like he did here and get all of them niggas locked up and, he, and come home. <laughs> well, they repeat the cycle, nigga. What you mean? They ain't got no Rico, no goddamn Dominican Republic. He ain't snitching on nobody. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you this. In America, they got something called a Rico. You gotta snitch. In like Dominican Republic and Jamaica, you just pay a nigga, man. Well, shit. Who you gonna pay to get him out of this? He, he should already pay, right? He pay the producers. Yo, bro. That fat lip that you got, nigga, that's from that Kylie Jenner lip kit you was fucking with, nigga. That was not from my fist. Yes. The other nigga, you gotta tell him, yo, that shit was not blood, gang. That 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 shit was that shit was ketchup on my face. Not Something gotta get. That's crazy. That nigga about to repeat the cycle. Oh god. 
Oh, this is a picture right here. Oh, this is her, I guess, showing up to the studio or leaving the studio. All this happened on 1013. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this happened on 1013. By the way, uh, yo, 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 thank you for the donation, young Bebo. Uh, he says six nine beat up his girl's producer. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we're talking about that now. Um, trap Nalisa TV. Akam Dominican. How do I join the Discord? Discord.gg slash academics. Zam says, uh, thank you for the five. He says, hi, Papa. Okay. Like, somebody got to tell me what this means. Loiza Subir al Studio para que la abriar. What the fuck? Man, my head hurt me. Uh, y dentro estaba mi otro productor también. The fuck is that? Yeah, he basically said uh, he made him go up to the studio so that he could open up. And then inside, my other producer was there, too. That's what it says. Oh, thank you. My, my boy. My boy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we see that already. And somebody says, Todo dicen que mentira, mentira. Y yo por no hacerle daño a Yalin. What the fuck is that? All right, this uh, everybody says it's a lie, and I'm not trying to um, harm Jailene. That's basically what it says. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Who who posted this? What the fuck? Oh no, who posted this? I, the, the name is cut off. Okay. All right. So, so so, let me just play. Well, you could translate what this nigga's saying then. Todo agredido ahí y de todo. Él quiere decir que porque uno dice que de Santo Domingo, dice que vamos a ver si es verdad, dice que él es tigre entonces. Agarró todos mis los dos productores míos, yo me acababa de ir del estudio, Jailin se acababa de ir, le estaba haciendo creer a ella que estaba en Miami y de repente apareció en el estudio con unos tigres y lo desbarataron a mis productores sin tener la culpa, sin conocerlo ni siquiera a él, a ellos. Amenazándome también, di que por videollamada, di que que pelea, di que que el diablo y su hermana que le anda el mao. Entonces, ah, what is guy's name, bro? Grody. Uh, yeah. So basically, what he said was that um six nine made him believe that he was in Miami, and then he pulled up to the studio and he beat up his producers. Uh, that's basically what he said. So six nine lied and then. Made him believe that he was in Miami, that he wasn't even in DR. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But here's my whole thing, and I don't know if you've been following this, this, this situation. If your girl is recording with a nigga you don't like, rather than, like, you know, go to beat the guy up, just tell your girl not to. Does she not listen to him? Yeah, so apparently apparently, from what um somebody else that's Dominican in here was, was telling me about it, was basically he wasn't trying to be really beat up the producers. Um, he was trying to get at the guy that um writes music for her, and basically, I guess she was still like seeing him and stuff, and he wasn't with that, so he got jealous and just was trying to fuck that guy up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm. Oh, so, so you saying that was her? That was her party. Like party to yeah. uh, write it, I'd be writing for all the females and shit. Yeah, so, well, 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 for her, for Jaylene. Well, basically well here's the thing and y'all could tell me any of y'all you know hispanic channels that are gonna hear this y'all tell me if i'm wrong this is what i've been told okay the entire latin music scene 85 percent of the hit songs are written by like the same people so like you'll have the same people writing for I don't want to throw people under the bus because I've just heard all of these guys that some of y'all like in the, in the Latin world. They all use writers, like all of them use writers. Like, I mean, I, I, I know he don't care if I say it about him. Um, like six nine, like Hispanic writer is the rights for like five other big Spanish um, artists too. You get what I mean? So it's like, yeah, they're, they're, it's like a community of writers. It's not like a you know in the rap world they make it seem like it's only like a party next door that writes. No, in the in the in the Latin world, these things ain't writing shit. It's it's a bunch of writers writing for everybody. You get what I mean? So that's what I was told. By the way, um, I, I hear that this guy here is 
he was on 6ix9ine's song. That's why 6ix9ine got close to this Lanier guy. He he writes for everybody. This this dude right here writes for everybody. So that's why 6ix9ine got cool with him. That's he's been helping 6ix9ine with music. But he writes for, you know, again, I just don't want to say other people's name because I don't know if this is known um blanketly, but he writes for other huge artists as well. Right? So yeah. All right, let me go to the next slide with, it, with this shit. Where is it? This is... Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. No, but you're welcome, you know, by Yo espero que se conecten un par de gente ahora. Mi gente, manden este like a todos los lados. A todos los lados. A todos los lados. Cisnay acaba de llegar al estudio donde yo, mi estudio, y agredió a todos mis, mis, mis productores porque yo estaba haciendo una canción con Jailin. Escribiéndole una canción y una vaina. Él llegó de sorpresa y desbarató a todo el mundo. Pero yo me acababa de ir. Yo quiero que este like lo compartan en todos los lados, las personas que puedan. Que graben pantalla. Graben la pantalla, graben esta pantalla, grabenlo esto. Para que lo. Voy a enseñar a los productores. Que yo estoy llegando camino donde están los productores, es todo desbaratado. Él estaba metido en la vaina, por eso porque yo déjame llamar ahí. Porque después puede ir la conversación. No, pues yo. Okay. Was he just saying the same shit right then? So basically, he was telling everybody to shit alive. Um, and he he was basically saying the same thing I told you before, so that he's the guy that was writing the music, and I guess Six Nine was tight that you know he was writing for her. So Six Nine showed up and he said that he beat up um his producers and basically was telling people to record that and start sharing the video and stuff. That's what he was saying. Mm. So he wasn't there. Yeah, he wasn't there when it happened. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. That's why on the first video he says um six nine came in here with a bunch of thugs and beat up my producers when they have nothing to do um with it. That's why he said like on the first first video that you showed. God damn, they got my um, boy six nine mugshot. Ah nah, they can't have my boy like that. Nah, I ain't, nah, I ain't gonna let this happen. I ain't gonna let this shit happen. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm calling the Dominican Embassy tonight. Fuck all that shit. This is how you know you fucked up, man. You go to them countries. Usually, you, nigga. Usually, usually you 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 wave your motherfucking um American passport like it's like <laughs> like it's the kryptonite over there, nigga. Like yo, listen, all right, I'm getting the fuck on out of here, man. I'm American, American, nigga. I'm American. Yo, heck, we got this the um the Dominican blogger guy that wanted to donate it to you. Yeah, yeah I'm in here right now. Oh yeah, all right. Somebody got to put me on game. I want to hear about all this fuckery. He's in here no. now. Yeah, I'm in here. I'm in here. All right, what's going on, man? Like, why is there so much drama with 6 ix 9 You talking about this? You see, here's the thing, bro. 6 9 6 9 and DR, yeah. they love that nigga. You want to know why? They do? You know, you know how 6 9 is. Everywhere he go, he give out money. Ooh. He fucking showing people love. Mm. That's something you can't deny about 6 9 You feel what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. No, no. DR, right. wait, 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 DR wait. everybody is hungry, my nigga. All right, hold on. We are gonna break this DR, down. Here. Everybody hungry. So you you know when you know Americans see six nine and we see him other places, the first thing that come to our mind is, do they look at him and just say, "Oh, that's the snitch"? Mm -hmm. Is that the perception of him or no? I mean, niggas know he's snitching DR, but they don't give a fuck, bro. Like I said, oh you, shit, you, that nigga you go over there show love. They don't give a fuck. They'll be right there with six nine. That nigga throwing some cash. Oh shit! Oh, so that's, that's the rap they did. Oh, so all those people. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought all, all those people were were there cheering that like, yes, lock him up. But look at this, want to get a glimpse of him. They support I, him. I wanted to get on here so bad just to say that, like them niggas. You hear them niggas cheering? It's because they seeing six nine. Oh, we seeing a celebrity right now. They don't really give a fuck about what's going on. Mm. Okay, so are you familiar with this situation with him? And his, you know, um, I don't know if his future baby mom, but his girlfriend, Yailin. Yailin Lama Viral. Yes. Oh, yeah. See, you, you got, you, see, I can't even say it like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Explain what 
everybody on on that side of like the universe feels about this relationship, I'm confused. You feel me? Like I'm confused. Like six nine went from trying to fuck every girl in booby trap <laughs> and starlets. Like, after he got out of a relationship with Jaden, he was trying to do that for a while. That's that's where he blew that two million dollars from Steve. And then he, yeah. he, he meets Yailin, and they're just locked in. How does you this happen? Know, I'm going I'm to I'm, I'm explain this right now. Yailin, it's like a it's like a win-win situation for both of them. Yailin doing this shit, don't think she fuck with 6 9 Yailin doing this shit just to get back out of North. Really? And that's a fact. Why is she mad at Anwell? I don't know the situation between her and Anwell. Did I she come out like and say that he he beat her? Just cause. Th- 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 didn't she, she probably come wasn't trying to fuck with her no more. Anwell is a nigga that can get any any female in the universe. We're not even about to lie about that. Mm. And he probably just wanted to stop fucking with her. And, and she's doing this 6 9 shit to get back at him and 6 9 probably just took the opportunity and was like, yeah, let's do this shit. Yo, okay. So, I don't fuck with that nigga either, for real. This is, so you got to help me understand, though, because what really happened with Yailin and, and Well, because the baby that Yailin has is really young, which means they must have been together not too long ago if they have a child together and the child is really young. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They probably, they probably wasn't. I don't know. It happens, fallouts or whatever. But they probably, you know what I'm saying? They probably decided to part ways. Probably not in good terms. Because mm. here's perception. Here's my perception about the start of the Ye Ling and Anuel relationship, right? Let me try to break this down. Uh, Anuel goes to DR. He, he's trying to fuck with the DR movement. Ye Ling is a is a. First off, I want to say Jaylene, to me, personally, you don't really have too much talent. She just had a pretty face, and she's a marketer. Ooh. I know I'd probably seen that and was like, look, I could probably go ahead and, I don't know, do uh, write some songs for this girl, work with her music-wise. And then at the same time, just to get her buzz up, I could probably just fuck with her and act like she's my girl. I mean, they did have a baby, because I, I could be wrong. They did have a baby. But I feel like that, that was the start of things. Mm. So, okay. Okay, so... Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, by the way, so, so the, the reason why Dominican... So, uh, Puerto Rico was a hot spot for a minute. Dominican Republic seems to be heating up while a lot of people are going there. Is that where the Dembo movement is, is kind of like r- the richest at? Yes, Dembo started in DR. Okay. So, and so, Dembo, Dembo is a rhythm of... Uh, Kind of like, you know, that Jamaican reggae? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a mixture of, like, the Puerto Rican reggaeton. Okay. So so now the hotbed for a lot of these musicians is is showing love to the DR. Like, it, it, is it Rochi from um, DR? Um, Rochi's from DR. Alpha. El, El Alpha. DR. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So that's why everybody's kind of gravitating to um, DR. Cool. All right. So, all right. So he gets with her. There's been all type of rumors just like, you know what I mean? Remember there was an issue like in Puerto Rico and apparently like he had to leave the country when he, when he landed and he, uh, immediately. Remember that the police had told yeah, him no Yeah, that was, that was on uh, some award. There was an award show going on or whatever. Um, and he pulled up, 6 9 pulled up with Ye Ling to go. I guess they were going to the awards. Mm. And then basically the, the uh, Puerto Rican cops was like, bruh. I don't think I want to be here right now because Anuel, you know what I'm saying? Anuel is probably going to be here. And I don't know what happened there, but they just, they basically advised him to like, yeah, y- 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 y'all should probably leave the country. Mm. Okay. And, and right before I get into that, that, uh, that point about, and well, uh, Ho- uh, Jose, Jose B, thank you for the five. He says, accurately throwing shots at Joe Budden. No, Joe Budden has admitted that he, at least in the past, I don't know how he is now. He's obsessive, or he's been obsessive. Like he told a story about him hiding under a bed for hours till a woman came home. Like that's obsessive stalker shit. You get know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is that six nine got some of them type of habits. You feel me? That's all I'm saying, brother. I can't be throwing shots at a nigga who's admitting these these things himself. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> back to Anwell. So from what I'm hearing about Anwell, so Anwell runs Puerto Rico. That's what I'm hearing. Like I hear like he's like the. He's one of those dudes who's kind of like 
like a gangster nigga out there who just kind of runs a lot of them hoods. Really? Yeah, yeah. And that's 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 the perception he gives out, and apparently people back it up. Mm. Somebody says Yailin and Well were married. Is that true? That I don't have the full details on. I can't even sit here and lie. For okay. real. Now, obviously. Yeah, typically, typically in ER, people don't even get married. Hey, I'm, I'm with you for a couple months. You my wife, for real. Just the, you, you giving the title. Mm. So shit, yeah. And, and, and then basically what happens then is, you know, I think people know some of the story because 6 9 and Well had a relationship prior to him going to prison. Then he comes out of prison. They basically do a song. Uh, and well backs up off the song. Six Nine gets mad about and well because he speaks up on an interview. Their issues kind of like escalate, and um, yeah, th that's how they kind of fall apart. Now, yeah, this situation has nothing to do and well though, right? Uh, no. Nah, this 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 situation right here has nothing to do with and well. Uh, to what my understanding is, because I I seen the interview that the producer, his name is Diamond La Mafia. He's the, actually the owner of that studio that they went to. The other guys, according to Diamond La Mafia, which is the producer that's in the middle of this, the other guys that got beat up have nothing to do with this either. They, need, they didn't even know Ye Ling. Mm. Like on a personal level, like, you know, they've never met Ye Ling before that day. Okay. L l l let me play. There's a news report on this. Let me play this. You can tell me what, it, what, what it's saying. Quiero mencionar, es muy importante, sobre todo para los, dominic para los dominicanos, saber el tema de la artista, eh, Jailin. ¿Estaba presente junto a él? Eh, ¿Qué ha sucedido con ella? ¿Se queda allá? ¿Fue a Santo Domingo? No, no, ella está bien, nada, esperando los resultados de esto. ¿Pero estaba en el hotel? No, 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 no estaba para bien. nada. Para... El tema legal que le quiero mencionar es muy importante. Ok, uh, uh, I think I know what he's saying, but go ahead. Um, he's basically saying like, you know, Ye Ling is not, she's not in danger right now. She's just waiting on the results of what's about to happen. Mm. And, um, another, another fact that the producer was saying, like in the midst of, I guess them dudes getting fucked up or whatever at that studio, six, nine was actually FaceTiming, uh, Diamond La Mafia, which is that other cat that he apparently is, I don't know. He has some jealousy towards him. He was FaceTiming while beating him while uh, he was telling him, like, yeah, pull up to the studio or whatever. Like, that's what he was. That According to Diamond La Mafia, again, I'm going to say. He was, he was, uh, 6 9 was telling him, like, yeah, pull up to the studio. Like, you know, I'm going to beat your ass or whatever. Okay. And ahead, according to that interview, um, he's saying that the guy with 6 9 did have weapons on him. Ooh, but they don't say what weapons. It doesn't say what weapons. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you about the Dominican Republic. Is the Dominican Republic like like a gun free zone? Like like I'm imagining these places. Oh hell yeah! Any anybody anybody have a gun in in fucking Dominican Republic? It's basically like being in Florida. You'll never know who the fuck got oh, a gun. Okay 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 okay. So yeah, so people be having shit. Damn. So so that's what I'm saying. I'm worried for six nine safety because uh, yo bro, usually it don't fare well when an outsider comes and starts fucking with locals. Let's be honest. Like, and I mean, he might that's be tapped in with people that's there, but w why do you think that he's that um, emboldened, if this did happen, to be doing all this? Is, is, is those producers just punks or some shit like that? Uh, yeah, that. And another fact that Diamond La Mafia also said that there might be a member of, like, the police involved in this shit, too, with 6 9 Six what? nine probably paid somebody off. I don't know the facts. I don't want to talk nothing that I don't know about. But that's what that other producer was saying. Mm, okay, so this Diamond and Mafia person you're saying they post on their story. Mierda que decepción ahora me quieres hacer quedar mal. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, like look, like look at the deception. Now you want to make me look bad, type shit. Uh... Now, Yailin posted some extra long shit because, like, th there's been rumors that Six Nine beat her ass. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> chat. Yeah, Trust that's and, and that's another fact that uh, Diamond La Mafia was also saying that he also used to beat her ass or whatever. Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, he said who used to be who? 
He said Diamond La Mafia also said that. Uh, yeah, he didn't really want to say it, but he's like they probably they they basically made him say it in the interview. Like, yeah, he 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 beats Jaylene's ass too. So six nine beat her up. I'm not, allegedly okay. Allegedly, now, according to Diamond La Mafia. Now, now I'm gonna be honest with you. I this was a random accusation. Steve will do it. Came out and just like, yo, you hit your girl with a car, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, what type of shit is that? Which, by the way, like you know. <laughs> That's a whole different conversation. But I've heard people like people kept coming to me and be like, yo, there's rumors in the, this whatever that 6ix9ine beat this girl up. And I'm like, man, what the do I know what the fuck is going on at this point? Okay. However, this is Yaelene addressing these rumors, right? She says, and I don't know if you can read the screen, but I'll just read it out loud. Normalmente no hago esto, pero estoy. Cansada de que la gente invente cosas sobre mi todo el tiempo. All right, so basically what she said right there is, um, I don't usually do this, but I'm tired of people painting a false picture of me. Mm, all the time. All right, yeah, bet. All right. Uh, estoy super bien enfocada trabajando para mi hija, mi mamá y mis fans. I'm focused, trying to do my music, uh, worried about my daughter, my family, my mom, and my fans. Mm, okay, and it says, No estoy separada ni estoy siendo abusada. Solo quiero trabajar en paz. So basically she's saying she's not being abused by 6 9 She's not separated from 6 9 She just wants to focus on her music and live in peace. Mm. And then the last thing was a todos mis fan fanati uh wait a todos mis fanaticas las quiero mucho y agre agradezco todo su, su amor y apoyo gracias por yes. estar conmigo en todo momento. Um, to all my fans, thank you for all the support and um. I want to be with you guys at every moment. Okay, damn, it's kind of hard to train. All right, so so essentially, she's saying six nine has never beat her. Yeah, okay, that, that's she, good. she just confirmed it right there. That's good. Now, like I don't know where these rumors are coming from, and is she, he also uh, what the fuck. Oh yeah, she's talking about her album. So is she talented? Uh, in my opinion, me following the music, how I follow it, she's yeah. not talented because. To me, talent is somebody that can actually... Well, I'm not even going to sit here and say that. She, the way Yaelene started and got popular in this movement, she used to be a dembo dancer. Literally. Really? Yep. She used to literally just dance dembo in the street. People used to record her or whatever, and somebody got her for a music video, and then that's when she popped off. Mm. I'm telling you, man. And by the way, chat, you know, uh, any of my OGs in here, this would be a good time to check up on uh, Angelica. I remember when Angelica told me she was moving to the DR. I was like, what the fuck? Like, nobody moves from the a first world country? What the fuck is that going on back there? It's my dogs. Uh, nobody moves from a first world country to go move to the DR. And I remember her telling me that apparently the music scene is just popping. Do you get what I mean? And... Now, when I see, like, everybody is talking about, like, you know, this Dembo movement, and apparently this is a hot thing, and everybody's going to the DR, maybe maybe she was right. I wonder if she popped off, because I think she's doing music. No, nah, I mean, it, it is for, uh, cause did you know Bad Bunny got popping? The first country he got popping at was DR. Really? Yeah. What's the population of the DR? Population. Ah, it's like, yeah. It's 11 million people. Somebody somebody will have to look that up. Yeah, quick. I looked it up. It's 11 million people. Damn. Okay. Hey, act, act. I got a question. So will this um, mess up his probation he has in the States? I'm thinking so. Right? Now, usually when you're on probation or parole, and obviously it's different on a federal level, but I think it's probably even worse that he's on federal probation because now, you know, you went to another country, which, you know, again, you might be like, that's outside their jurisdiction. But part of this, uh, uh, of you being on parole or probation, they usually say you're not supposed to have 
contact with the police in the sense of even the police investigating you for shit. You get what I mean? That could trigger, um, at times, it, it, it could trigger your parole officer or your probation officer like making recommendations either for your incarceration or some type of detainment if they feel like you're not acting as you should be acting on parole or probation. That's as much as I know. So if you're asking me, I know it's outside the country, but the mere fact that the like people are coming out to say he's he's in a, you got to imagine this. You're on federal probation for being in being a nine tree gangster, right? And you're now being accused of starting a gang or having a gang in the DR and running around beating, beating up people. I, I don't think uh, parole is going to look at that um, too nicely. Now, I'm going to keep it being with y'all. I'm going to be honest. Because he cooperated, I do think that it's going to weigh heavily in his favor because they're going to be like, yo, this is somebody who has assisted the government. Like, yeah, maybe he this is his first, like, like fuck up on parole. But we're not just going to lock him up with his first fuck up, like he was a pretty good, you know, cooperant that helped us out. So that's what I'm thinking. So I don't think that he's going to be, you know, I don't think this blows his uh, parole. And honestly, if if you really ask me how I think this is going to end, bro, with all due respect, it's the Dominican Republic, my nigga. You pay some cash and you're getting free, okay? As long as you ain't clapping, nigga, right? Come on, let's be honest, man. You go to... Hey, all right. What? I'm not gonna lie to you though. The only reason this could go bad for six nine is because in DR the cops love clout. Like in DR, if you're a celebrity, they would fucking lock you up and then take a picture of you just to know, hey, I'm the one that locked this dude up. Mm. Okay. Well, and they would probably try to make an example out of you at the same time because this happened to. Omega El Fuerte, I don't know if you want to research that at a later time. He's a merengue singer from the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. which they made his life impossible, bro. Give me the rundown. Like, well, what happened with that? Well, um, it's a long-ass fucking story. I'll just give you a little bit of the runaround. He had a manager that uh, he, he didn't really see eye to eye with. That manager paid some people. Pay the female to say, hey, Omega El Fuerte beat my ass. Um, then he got locked up, did some time, got back out. They lied about um, him fucking somebody's wife. That's another thing. You fuck with some politician's wife over there or something. That's a, that's a rap. Mm. Oh, okay. God damn. Yo, chat, it, it, it's so, you know. I know some of y'all, and by the way, you know, welcome to everybody on YouTube, on Twitch, or Rumble, wherever you're watching this. I'll tell y'all like this, because I know some of y'all like, your act, why do we care? Obviously, you know, Six Nine is a huge artist, you know, um, just in general, and he's someone who we've covered a lot. These days, you, what you're going to notice is that, man, I, I've been telling you the game is just getting on a globalized level. In reality, uh, the reason why a lot of these dudes are even going towards the DR is that, like just staying within the states, like for example, and and, and I'm gonna try to do a numbers breakdown. Hopefully today I, I won't have all the numbers. Bad Bunny's gonna outsell Drake. Now he's gonna outsell Drake globally, and you have to realize as an artist, that bragging rights shit about first week numbers for United States only goes so far when you're an artist that's only relevant in the United States. Now, by the way, Drake's relevant everywhere still, but. Here's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Globally, like all these Hispanic artists globally are bigger than all of these rappers. And it kind of starts, I believe, a lot with the, the Spanish language. I think there's just many more other countries and, and, and places that those that music could kind of transfer easily. Whether it's, you know what I mean, Mexico, pretty much most of Latin America, the Caribbean islands, um, well, at least Dominican Republic and, and Puerto Rico. Uh, there's a lot more place for that music to be consumed. Do you get what I mean? And by the way, let me clarify the thing about Drake 